first, everybody. If you haven't played on a server that has HDRP enabled, you are doing yourself a disservice by not experiencing what this new world looks like for us. I've been waiting for an HDRP update for so long that I've almost forgotten to keep track of how long it's actually been. They first announced HDRP well over a year ago now, and finally we have access to it. If you're not interested in setting up your own HDRP server, you can try mine out simply by going into the version of Rust that you already have that allows you to connect to staging branch servers. And you can just search up my server, Ominous HDRP, and join like normal, and you'll get to experience what this is all about. However, if you actually want to set up your own HDRP branch, I'm going to show you how to do that in this video, so stay tuned. Everybody, welcome back to Rust Admin Academy, where I teach you guys the very best tips and tricks to owning and operating a successful Rust server. On this channel, I do a lot of plugin reviews and tutorials to hopefully show you some of the different cool things that you can do on your servers to maybe make life just a little bit more interesting for your players, or maybe just a little bit easier for your admins or moderators. So if you're brand new to the channel, consider subscribing so that you stay up to date on everything that we're working on. And because I know every single one of you that are watching this video right now wants to help me make the YouTube algorithm happy, be sure to leave me a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. All right, so I'm going to break this up into three individual parts and of course i'm going to put these all down in a timeline down below so that you can refer back to it if you needed to so first things first i'm going to show you what you need to do for your client just simply so that you can play on an hdrp server the second thing that i'm going to show you is what changes you need to make to your local host server in order to be running an hdrp server and thirdly, I'm going to show you the steps that the guys at IceHost have taken so that changing your server into an HDRP backport server is so easy. All right, so first things first, I need to show you what you need to do to your client so that you can actually log into an HDRP server. So as many of you may already know, Rust actually comes in two parts. So there's the Rust experimental version that you're probably used to playing on a regular basis. All of the servers that you've ever logged on to before are running on Rust experimental. However, there's another section to Rust that maybe some of you might might not actually know about and that is the staging version of rust so there's a version of rust that you can play that has all of the up and coming new things that they're adding to the game before they actually officially launch it into the game so if you've never noticed this before so if you look on my screen right here at the very top of my list here i've actually i actually have this favorited right now but so the very top one is just the regular rust game that you're used to playing whether you click on it from your desktop or whether you launch it from steam it's exactly the same thing but below that there's another version of it called rust staging branch so if you don't have this installed on your system yet you're going to want to go ahead and do that it will appear in your list of available games down below but if you've never gone through this process before it's not going to be installed but it works exactly the same way as any other steam application does you just right click on it and click on install once you've done that then you have the ability of playing the game but before you do that we need to make a change so that you can actually play on an hdrp server so if you right click on rust staging branch and go into properties and then go go into the beta section. This is where you can actually select the different versions of Rust that the developers are currently working on right now, if they're publicly available. Don't kid yourself, they're working on a lot of stuff in the background that we never get access to. So when you first open up your properties for Rust staging branch, it's gonna look similar to what you see on my screen right now, which means the betas that we're opted into is none. So that would allow us to play on just any regular staging server out there. And of course, yes, there are some out there. Actually, there's quite a few, but today we wanna to be talking about HDRP. So how do we access an HDRP server? We simply change our beta to AUX01 backport. Once you've selected the AUX01 backport, it'll actually reinstall Rust staging branch for you, but in the version that will allow access to AUX01. AUX01 is the code, we'll call it a code for the HDRP branch. And of course, once that's all done, of course we can click on the big green button and we can play the game like we normally would. We can search the server directories for the server that we want to join. If you're not familiar with the servers that are out there currently, you are of course welcome to join my HDRP test server at Ominous HDRP backport server. So that basically sums up everything you need to do for your client. And if that's all you came here to learn, you can stop watching this video right now and enjoy the new HDRP version of Rust. But if you're here to learn how to set up your own server, we're gonna get into that right now. So to be successful with this and to have exactly what I have on the screen right now, you will have had to have watched one of my previous videos on setting up a Rust server. I'll put a link to the most recent one in the top right hand corner right now. You can watch 
watch that at your leisure. But in order to be at this stage, you will have had to have watched that video. And you certainly have time to go watch it now because the changes that we need to make to this batch file are so small, it's going to take me about five seconds to tell you what it is. So if you'd like to go watch that video and then come back to this one to learn how to turn it into an HDRP branch, that's fine. You can definitely do that. All right. So if you have watched any of my previous videos on setting up Rust servers, this is going to look perfectly familiar to you. This is the same batch file that I use in all of my tutorials. Literally nothing has changed on this yet, except for the one thing that changes this into an HDRP server. So I'm going to bring your attention to the third line of our batch file. And like I said, this is going to look totally familiar to you. We're telling the batch file where to find Steam and then execute steamcmd.exe. And then we're telling it where we want to actually install the server. This is not new information. We're logging in anonymous, et cetera, et cetera. The difference happens right here at the very end. So to set up a vanilla server, not HDRP, not staging, this is what it would look like. App underscore update 258550. So in order to change this to an HDRP branch, we need to tell it that we want to use the beta version of Rust and we want to use this code right here, AUX01. And because it is beta and there are bugs and things are going to happen, of course, I suggest that you validate your files every time you restart your batch file. So we would put the validate command in at the very end. So I'll put the updated version of this batch file in the video description down below. You can, of course, just copy and paste it into your own batch file. Just make sure you make the changes so that it actually goes to the right location to grab Steam CMD and also validate that it's actually going to install where you want your Rust server to actually be installed or where it currently is installed right now. Again, if you've watched my previous video on setting up Rust servers, this is all going to make perfect sense to you. And then all we need to do is, of course, save our batch file. And then, of course, we can just go ahead and launch our server like we normally would. The server startup should look the same as it does on every other server that you've ever seen. However, I will give you one warning that I have noticed. Mind you, I haven't checked it today. They did just push an update today, but my console has been throwing a lot of errors. Nothing serious. They're not even yellow or red errors. They're just errors in regular writing. So I don't think these errors are a big issue. I know that it's not causing me any issues on my server. I've been able to play on it just fine. Now, for any of you that are with icehost.com, you know that the guys over there want to make things as easy as humanly possible. So, of course, when I found out that HDRP branch was being made publicly available, I went to them and said, hey, can we make it super easy icehost clients to be able to switch their server over to HDRP? Dennis came through in a matter of minutes for me, and he actually made that happen. So with your server offline, so if you're not currently offline, and if you have players on your server, you're going to want to tell them what you're doing. Because if you're taking an existing server that is not running on stage branch and you then all of a sudden change it into an HDRP server, your players that aren't using the staging version of Rust will no longer even be able to find your server unless they go and install their staging version. So if you're going to do this on a live running server that actually has players on it, make sure you let them know that they're going to have to switch their client over to the staging branch. Otherwise, they're not even going to find this server when you're done what you're about to do. All right. So on your Icehost dashboard, you want to slide over to the startup section right here. And you'll see this new section right here that didn't look like this before. And if you click on the drop down box, you're going to see that there's a couple of different options there. Now, Rust, the very top one is just regular Rust. That's what you're used to running on prior to actually watching this video and trying to learn about HDRP. And we can just select which version we want to run currently. And of course, if you want to be experiencing the HDRP aspect, you want to click on Rust AUX01. You would probably want to change your server name so that people recognize that it's an HDRP server. I would highly suggest that you turn off Oxide. I don't know if UMod is going to be supporting the HDRP version of Rust just yet. I know they will eventually, of course, because it's going to get merged into main. We just aren't there yet. And of course, you would probably want to change your description to reflect the changes that you're making on your server. Once we're done with all of that, we of course can go back and just start our server up like normal. It's going to go through the exact same process. It's going to check to see if there's an update from Facepunch. If there is an update, of course, it's going to run that update. And then if there isn't, it's just going to continue on with the rest of the server start. Up. And of course, once it says that your server is up and running, of course, we can be done with the dashboard and we can then log into our server. So if you've watched the first section of this video, of course, you already know that we have switched over our staging branch over to the AUX01. And we can, of course, just click on the green play button right there. 
it'll load up rust like normal once you're actually loaded into the game it looks exactly like you would expect it to if you've never experienced the staging version and we can click on whatever server we want if you want to go to mine instead of creating your own like i said before just go to ominous hdrp and once we're finished waiting for that to boot up of course here we are inside my hdrp branch the world that the developers over at face punch are creating for us is absolutely amazing this looks fantastic and if you're wondering what this does to performance here i can give you an idea so right now i'm literally running on everything max graphics as high as i can possibly get them and as you can see in the top right hand corner there i don't know if you guys will actually be able to read that but i'm running about 70 ish 68 69 uh, frames per second so it's definitely nothing to scoff at now bear in mind i also have my obs running right now i've got a bunch of background stuff happening when i am playing the game with nothing running like i normally would this runs well into the 90s it's very stable it's very smooth it doesn't jitter around a whole bunch like you would expect it to even the jitters and stuff that we're used to having from regular rust they're not there anymore what are some other things i can show you about hdrp one thing about this version is they've added a train station to the launch site i'm not sure if everyone knows that just yet they have also completely restructured the underside of the dome so now there's a little bit more activity going on down underneath there but probably one of the best things that they've done is they've made it so that when a when a monument is placed in a biome it actually matches that biome now so if you've ever experienced in the past where one of the big monuments gets placed inside of the snow biome like you see i'm in right now you would still just see a regular monument it wouldn't actually have snow on the ground like you can see in my train yard right now you can see it's actually converted the monument so that it actually fits inside the biome that it sits in it's just kind of one of those things that I, I've always felt was just a miss. It just looked a little bit funny. I've actually changed maps simply because I didn't like how the monument looked in the wrong kind of biome. I'm weird like that. They've also changed the layout of the sewer branch a little bit. I'm getting a little bit too far into the details about the change to the monuments than I wanted to on this video because I want you guys to experience this stuff for yourself. So I'm actually going to stop and I'm not going to show you anymore. So one thing that I want you guys to remember if you decide to go down this path or even if you're just going to be playing on somebody else's HDRP backport the staging branch of rust is basically where face punch can run their tests they can experiment with different things and see how things are going to react in the real world the real rust world i guess so while the gameplay might seem stable it's actually not i don't suggest you say okay i'm done with regular rust i'm just going to play on staging branches or hdrp branches because there can be the potential that they just turn it off they might push several updates throughout a day maybe your server owner can't actually run that many updates in one day who knows there's a multitude of different reasons it can make it so that your server that you're used to playing on might not show up on the list because if your client updates and the server that you're used to playing on hasn't updated yet you of course can't connect to that server so while yes that does happen in regular rust as well it happens more often in staging and even more often yet in beta staging so just something to keep in mind there all right that's it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did you know what to do leave me a great big thumbs up remember i put out a brand new video every Friday at 5 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. So until then, I hope you guys are staying safe and taking care of each other. I'll see you guys next Friday.